the former adjutant general of the Maryland National Guard. WJZ was at her official portrait unveiling today. Sean Stryker has more on the surprise by the governor. Major General Linda Singh knew she was coming here to have her official portrait unveiled. What she didn't know, the building behind me will soon bear her name. Honoring 38 years of history making service. Major General retired Linda Singh, the 29th Adjutant General of Maryland and the first African American and first woman to lead the Maryland National Guard, had her official portrait unveiled at the brand new Readiness Center in Sykesville. But it is her incredible legacy of service uh, and the transformative things that General Singh did with her command that truly sets her apart. Major General Singh served in multiple overseas combat deployments, led the National Guard during the 2015 civil unrest in Baltimore, and created an all-woman leadership team. I didn't do it because it was, it was just because they were women. One, they were qualified. But two, it gave permission for the rest of the country to say this is okay. Brigadier General Janine Burkhead was on that team. Demonstrates is the word I'm looking for. Demonstrates really what she, she talked about today, and that's being that mentor for everybody, uh, fighting for her people, and um, we couldn't love her more. Governor Hogan, who appointed Major General Singh, had one last surprise. I will introduce a proposal to officially rename this Freedom Readiness Center as the Major Gen General Linda L. Singh Readiness Center. It really is an honor, and, and it, it, every time I drive past here now, I'm going to be looking at it, and my family will get to, to really share in that. And so I, I don't even know what else to say about it. It's, it's just amazing. She officially retired in 2019, but has no plans of slowing down. I want to thank you. For this honor, I want to thank you because I'm going to continue to serve till the day I die. I'm going to continue to fight for our rights in my own fashionable way. Reporting from the soon to be Major General Linda Singh Readiness Building in Sykesville, Sean Stryker for WJZ.